This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. How are you doing? We are currently in Wisbeach and we're getting loaded um, for tomorrow. In fact, we might get one off today, we'll see. But we've got to go to three different places with this wood. Um, first drop, which isn't on yet, it's gonna go on next, is going to Ascot. Hoping I can get that off today. Second drop, which is the blue strap and one orange strap is going to um, Farnham and then the front is going to Andover. So that's uh, tomorrow's work. But if we can get one off today, then uh, Brucey bonus. Okay, the pack going on is much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. That's the curtain. Going to move the curtain. Do I need to move the curtain? Oh, that's a little bit of Yeah, okay. So is it a four of them, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. But apologies for that. That was a bit bigger than expected. I've heard that before. <laughs> So we got four packs for uh, the first delivery apparently. So that's two packs. I guess the other two's just gonna go on the other side. Just gonna have a look. Yeah, you can easily get just like another two packs here and then strapping it up might be a little bit awkward. I'm gonna have to have one strap straight over that one at the top. Mm, yeah, one strap over there. Me. Yeah, we're sorted out. I got, got three straps out ready to go. One, two, three. Same on the other side, but I can get more if need be. But yeah, so first drop is uh, that one, that one. No, sorry, the last drop is that one, that one, that one, and that one on the bottom. Middle drop is that one, that one, that one, and the rest on the other side. And then the last, oh, sorry, the first drop, which is going on last, is a bit confusing. It's that one, that one, and then two more, which I'm assuming is going to go there. I'm assuming. Pound says that he's going to put it smack bang in the middle of those two. He might be leaning a bit, but that's what he's going to do. Calling that, I'm going to, I'm going to say that's what he's going to do. Okay, maybe, maybe he isn't. Okay, so we're loaded, we're strapped up. There you are, the three straps you just put on. Uh, and I'm doing this more for my sake more than anything. So tomorrow I can remember what's what. So first drop, we got uh, four lifts, which is the long black one, the fence posts, and then the two on the other side. That's the four. Um, for the second delivery point, we got five lifts, which is one, two, three, four on the other side. And then I think it's that top one. I think, or it's the top one on the other side. It's one of them. I've taken a photograph so I can find out later. And then the last drop, the third drop, is basically the rest of it. So I think it's like, I can't remember. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six lifts. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Something like, something like that. 
I've taken a photograph of the first drop. I know what's for the first and second delivery, the four and the five. And I've got a photograph differentiating between the second and the third drop. I know that sounds confusing. One sec. Okay, I'll just check my photo archives. <laughs> so that one is not for the third drop, that's for the second drop one at the top. The one on the other side is for um, the second drop. On the other side of this, we've got one like that, and then two long ones. Yeah, there we go. So the last drop is that, those two, and that one on the bottom. But that one on the top is the second delivery, along with that one and that one. And then obviously that's the first drop, those two there. We, we will get there, we will get there. It's confusing, I know. Right, we are all strapped up. Curtains are closed. The load has been checked. We're just waiting for paperwork to be given to us. And then, we need to put it, the destination into the sat nav because I know roughly, well, I know what like town or city I'm going to, but don't know the actual address I'm going to. So I know I'm going to Ascot, Farnham and Andover, but I don't know where in Ascot, Farnham and Andover we're going, what place I'm delivering to, I don't know. Um, first drop is Ascot, and I've got a random Ascot postcode put into the sat nav, like Ascot centre, and <laughs> the ETA there, it's two minutes past four. For the builders merchants, they probably are not going to take the delivery after four o'clock. So that's the other thing. We are in a bit of a rush. We need to get the paperwork and get going, but we obviously need to plan the route as well. <coughs> so yeah, we're just waiting for paperwork. Okay, my Thank, Thank you. you very much. That's all right. Cheers, bye bye. Right. <laughs> we're going to Lawson's. I know Lawson's don't take deliveries after certain times. They never do. In fact, a lot of Lawson's don't take deliveries after two o'clock. Right, uh, blah. So we're going to Lawson's in um, Ascot. Excellent, right, we've got it into the sat nav. See, they actually close at 16.45. Let's give them a quick call to see if they will take a delivery. Otherwise we've got to find somewhere to park. Good afternoon, Lawson's Esco, Mark speaking. Yeah, hi mate, um, I've got a delivery for you. Your destination um, I'm going to be there about 8. 10 past 4, if that's okay. i got four packs of wood from Alpro. Uh, we won't take them at that time, I'm afraid. Latest we can take them is 3 o'clock, half past 3, unfortunately. Yeah, all right, what's the earliest in the morning then, mate? Uh, 8 o'clock onwards, really. Okay, all right, no worries. All right, buddy. All right, thank, thank you, bye-bye. Oh, as expected. Yeah, as expected. Lawson's, they don't like take, taking deliveries late, and they just said three o'clock, half past three at the absolute latest. Our ETA is ten past four. So it's not getting delivered today, and uh, they won't take a delivery until eight o'clock in the morning, and that's if their own trucks are cleared. It's just annoying, because I've been here since 9 a.m. I've been here since 9 a.m. waiting to be loaded, and it's now one o'clock. Yeah, it's now one o'clock. I've been here four hours, and I can't now get it delivered today. It's just frustrating. I was hoping to get it off, but obviously it's not gonna happen. Right, so what we've got to do now then is find somewhere to park up. So I don't know where we're gonna park up, but it's gonna be early anyway. We could be parked up by half past three, depending on where we park. Oh, nightmare, absolute nightmare. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Um, I'm going to try and figure out, well, I'm going to pull over somewhere and try and figure out where I'm going to park when I get to some services or something. Have a little think. See you in a bit. Okay, you join me. Oh, a bit of a bump. Uh, just under two hours later after we left there. We left there about one o'clock. It's now almost three o'clock. Um, I'm going to pull into Toddington Services for, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, um, I want to find out where I'm going to park tonight. Tonight. Uh, secondly, uh, I get asked this quite a lot. Um, what do you do if you're on nights out and you need to go to the toilet? You go to services. <laughs> um, you know, without getting too too detailed about it. Uh, if you can stop, yes, yeah, stop. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I've been out all week this week. I've not been home. Today is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I don't, I don't see. I've even lost track of days. To, today is when, yeah, today's Wednesday. 
and uh, I've been out since Monday. Where do trucks park? No HGVs, okay. Um, so yeah, I've been out since I've been away since my Monday morning. So Monday night, Tuesday night, and then tonight will be Wednesday night. So that's three nights out in a row. And um, you know, you you've got to go to the toilet. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're uh, parking up. Gonna. I'm not gonna put it on break. I don't think because I don't need a break. Um, I'm just gonna park up, go to the toilet, come back, plan a route on where to park up tonight, and then go from there. What's this driver doing? Is it busy? Yeah, there's a truck reversing in. It looks quite busy. Got loads of loads of vehicles behind me. What are you doing? What's this uh, Warbird is doing as well? He's blocking up all the it's like two or three spaces there available. Looks like space is on a premium. There's two spaces here on my right, but that where that truck's parked in front is kind of in the way. Uh, are you stay in there. I think he's staying there. Oh, there's another space here as well. A bit, bit easier to get into. Oh, there's another one there as well. It'll be even better to get into. Even better. Loads of room. Let's put the hazards on just to warn people that I am making a maneuver. a bit too tight. Anyway, we're in. It's very busy here. Very busy, never mind. Um, so driving wise, we're on two hours of driving. Um, obviously you can do four and a half hours before stopping and we're not that far away. Why, there's like loads of cars coming through the lorry park. So accidents happen. <laughs> Because a lot of cars don't realise when you're like you're doing a manoeuvre and they just tuck around you. Right, anyway, so I, I am going to put it on brake, seeing as we're in there. We don't know how long we're going to be in there for. Might just um, just chill out for an hour, never know. So I will put it on brake and then I'll come back, reevaluate where we're going to park up for the night and then go from there. See you in a bit. Okay, you join me one hour later. Um, not only do we have a 45 minute break inside, Nothing to eat, just chilled out. Um, we've also found a potential place to park. Potential. I, I say potential because it's not a guarantee. <laughs> um, right, firstly, we've got to get on out of here. One of the reasons why I wanted to wait uh, a while before leaving is because I want to arrive to this location after five o'clock in the hope that any cars that are parked on the road, they've hopefully finished work and they go home. That's the plan. <laughs> so we're about an hour and 20 minutes away from where we're going to park. Uh, if you know where Travis Perkins is in Woking, that's pretty much where we're going to park. But it's a dead end street. So that's another thing that we've got to contemplate. It's not even a street really, it's like a dead end industrial estate. But um, we also need to try and find a way of turning around when we're in there as well. So I thought if I arrived after 12, uh, sorry, after five, 
then uh, fingers crossed there'd be more room to uh, to do some manoeuvres and hopefully find somewhere to park up. So that's the plan. Should be getting dark by the time we get there. Uh, we're about an hour and 20 minutes away. So let's get crack a lacking. I'll see you when we're there. See you in a bit. I just want to give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. We're talking taco rules and regulations, how to strap a load, how to hitch up to a trailer, uh, and also how to even get your HTV license in the first place. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okie dokie, we are just about to rock up to where I'm hoping to park tonight. Uh, we'll have to wait and see when we get there whether we actually can park there or not. Uh, we have actually made up a bit of time on the way, so it's, so it's actually, ori originally it was going to be 10 past 5 when we turned up, uh, but we're actually turning up bang on 5 o'clock. <laughs> so I um, was hoping it'd be quiet, but it might actually be quite busy. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. It's nice that it's still light out there at 5 o'clock, that's very nice. Normally we parked up, parked up and it's dark out, so it's nice that it's uh, light now. Well, I'm not going to indicate just yet, we want the second exit. I don't want to confuse that car. Here we go. Right, so this is uh, a dead end road. Oh, I can see trucks parked down here already. Yeah. So I can see one truck parked there. Look. I'm hoping to park somewhere around near him. There's no double yellows here. There's some yellows here, look. So we can't park there. Oh, I'm hoping to spin around and park right in front of that truck. That'd be ideal. We just got to spin around. I might park. I might park right behind them, actually. Right, where are we going to spin around? I think. See, there's a load of cars moving because people are finishing work. I was hoping to avoid this. <laughs> I think I can spin around in this little junction here. You will arrive at your destination at yes. 1742. That's the plan, anyway. I mean, there is a pavement for a reason, mate. Okay, spin a Rooney. Spin a Rooney! Lovely, jubbly. Love how the guy was giving me the, uh, what are you doing, look. Yeah, there's a pavement for a reason, mate. Anyway, we spun round, so that's the main thing. I'm gonna park around here. <laughs> so there's loads of cars behind me already, which is exactly what I didn't want. But it doesn't matter now, we've spun round, so. Um, I believe we can get in, uh, get the back end over that yellow line. I'm indicator, mate. You go past me, mate, that's it. Lovely jubbly. I said I believe I've passed the yellow lines. We will go and have a little look just to make sure. Um, come with me. Let's go for a little ride. Let's go off the road. Let's walk down the side of the path. I mean, while we're out of here, we'll do some checks as well, make sure the vehicle's all right. Um, I haven't turned... Oh, no. Susie's a cool call there, look. I haven't turned the engine off because uh, some people say it's best to leave it running. To, uh, to let it cool down a little bit. It's a bit, uh, a bit snug down here, never mind. Ah, yeah, look, we're clear. We're clear of the double yellows. Double yellows are there, look. We are past it. We're probably a good, uh, probably a good six feet in front of it, look. So I actually might reverse back a little bit. When I jump back in, I'll probably reverse back. Uh, a couple of meters. Uh, that way, I know I've got enough room then to get out. Anyway, let's open the doors. A couple of videos ago, I didn't open the doors because I had, uh, well, I had waste, plastic waste on it. And the problem with that is the wind will literally blow it everywhere. Make sure it's all clear. Excellent. There we go. Doors open, people can see we got wood on. If they want to nick it, then be my guest. Obviously, it's all strapped up. You've seen all that from earlier. Some orange straps down there. 
But yeah, I think this will be quite enough. Once everyone goes home, so obviously all these places are going to be finishing work now. I think once everyone goes home, like after five o'clock, then um, I think this will be quite a quiet road. It's a dead end industrial estate. So happy days. Um, shame we couldn't get the first one off today. Would have been nice to get it off. We wouldn't have even parked here then. We would have gone to Farnham and parked somewhere there. Um, I know a few industrial estates in Farnham, so it would have been all right. But um, but no, no mind, we're here. Uh, we're about half an hour's drive away from the first delivery point in Ascot. It's actually right next to Lapland, pretty much, where we're delivering to. So pretty, pretty handy. All right, let's just double check everything else down this side of the vehicle. Yeah, all looks good. All looks gravy, baby. Okay, and as I said, we're just going to reverse back like a couple of meters. Just so I know I've got enough room to get out. Wow, it's a bit tight, but if someone does park behind us, not that they should, they should leave it uh, free because obviously yellow lines, but if someone parks behind us, we stand a better chance of getting out. So yes, all I've got to do now is pay for it. Tell you what I've done today. It's not a lot actually. All I've done is done a delivery this morning, which you didn't see because I started it after that, this vlog. So all you've seen so far is one collection. But uh never mind. Yeah, so I'm just doing paperwork now. All we've done, all I've done today is deliver on Peterborough and collect on Whiz Beach. That's all I've done. But tomorrow we got uh delivery has got Farnham and then Andover was the last one yeah so we're, we should be about half an hour away from tomorrow they've already said they won't take a delivery before eight o'clock so um we'll probably we'll probably wake up about seven o'clock tomorrow do our checks and then head there and then um we'll be there before eight o'clock fingers crossed we're the first one there hopefully we've only got four lifts so we should be in and out in five minutes um that's the good thing about the wooden packs like there's the, once you get to your sites, they're quick to come off. Four drops at the first one, five drops at the second one, and then like the rest of it's for the third drop. There's so many more lifts. Eleven lifts on the last one. So twenty lifts in total, if my maths is correct. I think so. Four plus five is nine, isn't it? And then nine plus eleven is twenty. So yeah. Twenty lifts in total. Happy days. Right, I will see you in the morning. I'm just gonna chill out now for the rest of the night. See you later. And good morning. Welcome back. We are now in Ascot. We are just around the corner pretty much from where we got to deliver. Um, now, there is a slight issue in the sense that we have two options and none of them are very nice. Option one is to park up on the busy road and walk on in and see if we can go in. Um, or option B is to go straight in, but obviously might get in trouble for going straight in and cause troubles if there's a lot of other vehicles in there. Either way, <laughs> whatever you do, you're going to be upset somewhere. So I'll make a judgment call when we get there. If I can see those vehicles in there, then uh, obviously I'll wait out on the road. But if I can't see any vehicles in there, then I'll probably go straight in. What does help is that I've already seen two of their own vehicles heading the other way. So their, their vehicles should hopefully be out. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. And it's gonna be on our left-hand side. So yeah, this road looks relatively busy. I don't like the idea of just stopping out on the road. If it's like this, where there's a big old matched, um, hatched line markings in the middle, then we'll be all right. But if it's not, then we might just have to go straight in. Because we could cause mayhem otherwise. I'm going to start indicating. We could stay out on the road, but we're just going to slowly approach and see if we can go in. Is there any signs? Do I say I can't? I don't see any signs to say I can't, and there looks like there's room in there. Oh, he's telling me to stop. No, he's telling me to come in. I think you need to be visible, mate before I start making our turn. 
he was sort of like tucked away in the corner, so I couldn't see him until I got out to make the turn in. No mind. I think he was going to get me to wait out on the road and then notice the traffic behind me. Right. I think now I do, just about there. We've only got four lifts to come off, so it really isn't going to take very long, I don't think. So, let's get going. Okay, straps are off. Um, so this drop is that one and that one. Those two this side. And if we go around the other side, it is the long black one and then that one. So it's just the four lifts to come off today. At the first stop, the bloke has counted them and he has signed the paperwork, but I think he's waiting for the forklift driver. So we're just waiting for him to come back now with, with the paperwork, but apart from that, done. So um, I'm not happy because that's damaged. Whether it's not lived or whether it was uh, when they put the other back on, we don't know, but they're not happy. Right, that's that tipped. Nice and quick. We've been on overwork for 19 minutes now. Um, next place. We haven't put it in the sat nav, so I need to quickly put it in. Okay, destination is in the sat nav. The route is planned. I never just um, put the postcode in and go. I never do that. I've always got to pinpoint exactly where it is, then look at the route I'm taking in. Is there a better route? Which, I've, in this case, there is a better route that I've picked. So, four packs have come off, which means we've still got 16 left to come off. So, we're still quite loaded. We're still quite heavily loaded. Now, <laughs> there was a bit of damage to one of the um, packs, it was the black pack. I did show you the video. Um, they did take it off, but they, they were thinking about leaving it on. That would have caused a lot of issues. Okay, well, that was a bit hairy coming in there. Uh, yeah. There was a weight limit, and I had to go over a bridge. But it, it didn't say maximum gross weight limit on the bridge. Uh, I think it was just a weight limit for the village. Uh, but we've gone over the bridge now anyway. Sometimes you've got to go over. Right, so we're just around the corner now from where we need to be. We're about, well, about a mile and a half away. Hopefully the roads open up a little bit now. We can get there quite easily. Just get a bit narrow down here. We're going to let that van come past us. This green tree on the left sort of uh, protrudes into the road a little bit. So I'm going to let the van pass and then we can move out into the middle. Yes. Harvest wood products. Now, where do we go? I don't know where we go. There's loads of options, I don't know whether I've taken the right one or not. Right. Pull tight to the concrete. So I'm going to actually turn around and face the other way and then we'll be tied to the concrete. Lovely doubly. The only issue we might have is that um, one of their pallets, I believe, is going to be behind one on this side. So they might need to take one off to get to theirs and then put one back on, if that makes sense. But I'll sort that out with them. Right, let's get these curtains open and get offloaded. See you in a bit. Okay, straps are off. We are good to go. Uh, he can get to it all, or she, whoever comes out. So they've got five lifts to come off. So we've got those two, and then the two behind it, so that's four, and then just that one there, that's five. Then that strap, which is already on the other side, or just a case of whipping it back over again to strap this one up and the other pack behind that one that they're going to take off. 
Okay, that's two off. The third one is coming off now. So that's, that's the one that's coming off and then the bottom one's staying. And then there's another two on the other side of the truck on the back, which needs to come off. Oh look, my strap's gone down, ready to go, look. <laughs> one more pack to come off after this. And then we can do the curtains up. And that's the last one. Lovely jubbly. Just over here. <laughs> Uh, the door's a bit iffy, if you, um, yeah, break around, mate, yeah. Cheers, mate. Right. And then, uh, with a flat bed, I will tie that up, but can't be bothered on a curtain side. Excellent, right, now we just got to do the curtains up. Lovely, lovely, and it's that green building there. We do need to pull out on the road and have our hazards on. Because we're gonna be um, reversing in to that building there. Lovely, this space. Should be good to go. Nothing on the left side. Relatively clear in front. There is a car coming, but you can obviously see I'm making a maneuver. On the left, yeah. We've got JCB, so we'll reach out. Cool, there is. Okay, shots are off. And we've got two forklifts on there. Good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six more lifts to go. Lovely. Destination is put into the sat nav, we're good to go. We've made amendments, amend, amendments on the route that we want to take uh, because we have to go in a certain way. All is gravy, baby. All is gravy, baby. So we should there, we should be there about uh, twelve o'clock. Fingers crossed. Um, and if we can, we'll have a break while we're there as well. So we will let them load us, and then sit there and have a break. That's the plan, anyway. Whether we can get away with that or not, I don't know. If we can't get away with that, then we'll have a break on the way uh, up to Stoke, which is probably actually, think about it, more likely to happen, so. Right, anyway, we're gonna crack on to PUZ. Like I said, I got a funny feeling, because um, I should have tipped this off, some of this off yesterday, but obviously it got held up. So, um, yeah, if I wasn't there for four hours yesterday waiting to be loaded, I could have been, like, if it only took an hour, I would have had three hours spare, do you know what I mean? And I probably could have got most of it done yesterday. Definitely one, most likely two, and possibly the third one we just did. Worst case scenario, I reckon we would have just been parking up in Andover, do the one delivery, and then straight to Pusey first thing in the morning, and then we would have been at stake for our bus too. But obviously, things have been delayed a little bit. But we do what we can. We do what we can. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I shall talk to you when we're a little bit closer. See you in a bit. Okay, so here we are at Pets at Home. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not at Pets at Home. We're at um, Pusey, Pure Pastures. We will be at Pets at Home in Stoke. Uh, one pallet's on at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually gonna go in the truck and stay in the warmth. It's not exactly cold out, but just, it's warmer in there, isn't it? So, <laughs> so I'm gonna jump in the truck, let them put a few more on, and then I'll come back out and move curtains around and whatnot. Right, we are now loaded. Um, and we're good to go. Um, I did ask what time is it booked in for. Apparently he's booked in at... Apparently he's booked in at half past six tonight, which uh, 
is a little bit annoying because last time I went I was there for four hours before well four hours just waiting to get onto a bay uh, I was there from one o'clock till eight o'clock uh, uh, never mind right we shall do what we are told I'm left my high vis on never mind I shall take my high vis off when I stop because I'm stopping at a BP garage on the way to get some fuel get some uh, food as well for myself but yeah no they said it's booked in for half six paper says it's booked in for half past two but um, it's also got the wrong date on so I'm going to assume it is actually booked in for six okie dokie we are now in Stoke on Trent and we've been driving for three hours and 20 minutes so a little bit over three hours there was uh, originally there was going to be a lot of traffic on the M6 like there was a good hour delay but it seems like it cleared up just as we got there um, because we were going to take an alternative route and then it all cleared up so happy days um, as for when this is booked in we're still not entirely sure paperwork says 2.30 I was told 6.30 boss reckons it was booked in for 3.30 and it's now 4.30 <laughs> so well, we could be told to go away we don't know. We'll, um, we'll go on in anyway and have a look. See what they got to say. There's space to park up. Now we've got a cyclist here on the left. Obviously they've got no idea that I'm turning left, so I'm just keeping an eye on them. There we go. Cyclists, of course, now have right away. Well, and pedestrians. Okay, just park here for a sec. Hi, mate. Uh, I got delivered from, from Pure Pastures. Apparently, it's running late, but they're aware. You've done before? Yes, I have, mate. There you go. Lovely. Cheers, Cheers bud. Yeah. Lovely. Right. We're parked up. Right, let's go book in. Let's do it a bit. Okay, Dan. That's not me. I'm B36. So, um, yeah, we're now in the um, the waiting area for the drivers. Just waiting now for the name to be called out. I just pressed record and that went off. It was really loud. So, anyway, we should be the next one. Normally it only takes half an hour. Uh, I've been here for about 10 minutes now, so fingers crossed we're out with you in the next 20. We'll see. But, yeah. I would rather wait in my cab, but never mind, I've got to wait here. Okay, so we got here at, uh, at half past four. Uh, we're now tipped, we're just walking back to the truck now, we've got our keys. Got ourselves some hot chocolate. <laughs> um, it's nearly seven o'clock at night right now. So what's that? Um, it's five over six, two and a half hours. So It's not great, but actually it's pretty quick for these guys. So. And that's saying something. <laughs> so yeah, we're just walking back to the truck now. And uh, then we're gonna head towards Derby. And uh, I found an industrial estate. We're gonna go and uh, park up there. I don't know why they insist on putting me on a bay the furthest away from where we gotta walk to. The goods in. Still, get my steps in. I gotta go all the way down there. The goods in is. All the way over there. <laughs> it's a long walk. Come on. Right. Um, doors are shut. Let's take this off. We don't need that on anymore. Oh, oh. Lovely jubbly. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we've been here for about two and a half hours, which is a long time, but for them it's quite quick, which says it all, doesn't it? Um, anyway, yeah, so it's about an hour away to where we can plan on parking. I've never parked there before, so I haven't got a clue if there's going to be room to park, because like, it's going to be, well, it's going to be eight o'clock at night by the time we get there. Gone eight o'clock at night. So, uh, 
It could be rammed with trucks, for all I know. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see when we get there. If it is rammed, then uh, the only other idea I have is to go to my delivery point, which is on some sort of really long industrial estate, um, like with a load of RDCs. But I imagine two things. Firstly, one, if it's anything like Avonmouth, there'd be signs up saying no parking. And B, because it's at an RDC, it'd be a rat run of trucks all night. So it won't exactly be the quietest. Okay, we're just around the corner from where we plan to park up for the night. If we can, in fact, actually park there, that is yet to be seen. Right, this is where it gets interesting. Can we actually park anywhere down here? Oh, I'd say so. You could park anywhere here or here. There's no lines. There, there. Maybe not there. Anyway, we're going to go look down here. Off the main road a bit more. Oh, there's loads of lorries down here. Oh, there's loads of lorries down here. It's going to be an entrance there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh man, there's lorries all over the place here. Okay, <laughs> I don't think I can park here. It's nowhere down there. There's loads of lorries all over the place. I might try park on that other road that we were just on. I don't know how much of a main road it is though, that's the problem. Obviously it's quite late at night. You will arrive at your destination at 20.06. I can't park here because I'd be blocking everyone coming from that way. Right, yeah. I don't think this is going to work here, Luke. I don't think this is going to work here, Luke. Place. And also, we've got quite a late start tomorrow, so I don't want to be parking in businesses' premises like some of them are doing. Can I park there? I reckon I, 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 reckon I might be able to park here. Can I get away with parking here? We've got a building premises right there. I'm just going to get out and have a look. Just see if lorries can get around me and stuff. Yeah, I think that's going to be as good as it gets. It's going to be very noisy when all the truckers start work though, in the morning. They'll be very busy when they all start work in the morning. Um, there's loads of truck drivers over there. But I think, I think this would do. I think this would do. So, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. This is going to be in today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out your merchandise that's all custom designed by me. So we've had bigger down there. Drive, we've got the taco symbols and lose them all. 10% off white food as well. Don't forget to check them out. And thank you to all my other sponsors, Deeper Drivers, Tracker 24-7, Avail, and TomTom. Tom. And the Essential Truckers New Handbook. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Hopefully, I'll get a good night's sleep tonight here. Bye-bye.